Hi guys! So I want to do something a little bit different today. Jared has been reading a lot for the past year, just all kinds of books. And it's something that I've been wanting to do, just read something, but I never take the time to do it. But I finally did! And I thought that I could start, maybe this would encourage me to read more if I do, um, book reviews, make videos of book reviews. The first book that I read is called Food Rolls. And if you saw my video a few weeks ago, I talked about um, to be or not to be a vegetarian. And that's something that I've been serious about since I made that video. How that got started was I went to a vegan restaurant and picked up one of their pamphlets that they had there about reasons to become a vegetarian. And it, I just kind of got hooked on it. It's something, the whole treatment of animals thing, it had bothered me since I had seen the movie Food, Inc. at the beginning of the year. Since making that vegetarian video, I've actually watched two other food documentaries and I've just kind of been driving myself crazy. Um, and it just hasn't been about the meat, like I've just been really obsessed with uh, what do I need to be feeding my family to be healthier and finding new things to read about. I've been researching a lot. Um, I mean, I've always, well not always, but uh, since the beginning of the year, one thing that I had wanted to do was cut out processed foods. I don't know what made me want to do that, and cut back on sugar, and, but I just, I never knew why. I just knew, you know, that we should, that's what we should be doing. And, but what I started doing recently is just doing all kinds of research on like, the ingredients that are in, in our food and what they mean and all those weird names, you know, like a uh, carrageenan, soy lecithin maltodextrin, all that stuff, like who knows what that stuff means. So I've just, I've been driving myself crazy doing all this. By the end of the day when like my brain hurts from thinking so much, like I just stop and I realize what it all comes down to are the simple food rules that are in this book. And it's written by Michael Pollan. I first heard about him when I watched Food, Inc. Uh, he, he was just part of that movie. I don't know if director or I don't know if he helped make it or, or if he was just in it but so ever since then I've I knew about his books and I wanted to read them so I finally I went to the we went to the library recently and this just happened to be the only book of his that they had so that's why I got it and I had no idea what it was about but it turned out to be a very simple book because it literally is just it's really short and it's just rule oh so they're very short and simple and to the point I think he made this, or he wrote this book after writing a couple other books, and you know, people still have the question, okay, what? What am I supposed to eat? Or they just want simple rules like this. So, it literally took probably one to two hours to read, and um, so I thought I'd just share a few of the rules that he had. Um, like one is avoid food products containing ingredients that no ordinary human would keep in the pantry. Uh, and that's where he talks about all those big weird words that I had questions about like cellulose, xanthan gum, ammonium sulfate. They're, they're chemistry stuff meant to extend the shelf life. So, you know, even though, even if we don't know whether or not they're a proven hazard to our health, the point is that they're best just avoided. And one of my favorite ones is because of all these ingredients and all the questions I have about them, I've also been looking a lot at the ingredients label on all the foods that I buy. You know, some of them, they're a long list of stuff. And so one thing that he says is you should avoid food products, avoid food products that contain more than five ingredients. Because the more ingredients in a package, the more highly processed it probably is. So that's pretty simple. It's hard because all the good foods have a lot of ingredients, but you know, you just gotta train yourself to stay away. Sorry, I keep doing this. I'm sitting outside for maybe a pretty scenery and it's really hot. Okay, and this is one that I've heard for a long time now. Shop the peripheries of the supermarket instead of the middle. Stay out of the middle as much as you can because the middle is where all the processed foods are. You know, on the outside is where the fruits and vegetables and the dairy and the meats are. Just try to avoid the middle, but of course not all bad things, not all things in the middle of the supermarket are bad, you know, like that's where the spices are and um, the beans, the rice, so you need that stuff. That's put on the outside, but for the most part, shop the peripherals. 
Hmm. What else? Oh, here's one of my favorites. Buy your snacks at the farmer's market. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because you'll find yourself snacking on fresh or dried fruit and nuts, which is real fruit, rather than chips and sweets. Which, if you saw my Sprouts grocery haul the other day, that was before I read this, but that's what I had went to get was all those nuts and dried fruit so that we'd have healthy, healthier things to snack on and it's worked out really well. Jojo like runs up to the counter every day whining for some sunflower seeds or peanuts or something. Okay, another one that I think is a good rule that we all know to live by but it's kind of hard is it's not food if it arrived through the window of your car. AKA, don't eat so much fast food. Oh, and he has this uh, broken up kind of into sections. So what should I eat? What kind of food should I eat? And how should I eat? And the answers are, what should I eat? Eat food. What kind of food should I eat? Mostly plants. And then how should I eat? Not too much. But, I mean, he goes into more detail on those. And another thing that I like about this guy is he's not vegetarian or vegan. Um, he doesn't make it too difficult, really, it, it's simple. But one thing I like that he says is treat meat as a flavoring or special occasion food. Like, we shouldn't, a lot of Americans eat like two to three, meat two to three times a day when really, like that much meat isn't good for you. There's evidence that the more meat there is in your diet, partic particularly red meat, the greater your risk of heart disease and cancer. So. I at least want to quit eating so much meat, like I'm doing now, only a few nuts a week, maybe for dinner. So I think that's a pretty good rule. Another one we all know, what he says, the whiter the bread, the sooner you'll be dead. We all know that whole grain bread is better for you, but yeah, white tastes better. I only buy whole grain bread, and I'm not going to lie, I don't like it. I would, much rather eat, I would much rather eat white bread, but silly me, always trying to be healthy. Here's one a lot of people might like. Have a glass of wine with dinner and that's something we've all heard that red wine is good for you a glass a day has benefits one thing that i think we all struggle with is the cost of healthy food it's yeah it's a lot more expensive than the unhealthy food but if you think about it you're going to be paying more in the end if you end up with cancer or heart disease or so yeah you'll be spending more on health care later on well, it sucks that they make the bad food so cheap but I mean, that's what we should be doing is spending more money on our fruits and veggies and the healthy stuff and, you know, organic, some organic. Um, another one that I think is helpful to me is eat when you're hungry, not when you're bored. Because I tend to eat a lot when I'm bored. And here's another one I like. Spend as much time enjoying the meal as it took to prepare it. Because a lot of times I cook really long, time-consuming, difficult meals. And then we sit down and eat and it takes like 10 to 15 minutes and I'm like, that was a lot of work and this went by fast. I feel like we should be eating it slower and enjoying it more. I was just telling Jared that the other day and then I read that so I was like, bam, see Jared, enjoy it. And here's what I like, don't get your fuel from the same place as your car does. Jared's really bad about stopping at gas stations and getting snacks, mainly Red Bull, but um, since gas stations have become processed corn stations, ethanol outside for your car and high fructose cor corn syrup inside for you. So there's nothing healthy there. And then of course, he's not trying to say don't treat yourself at all. He says treat treats as treats and break the rules once in a while. In other words, don't completely deprive yourself from all good snacks. But he does say that you should if you're going to eat those things, you should cook it more because then you're going to be less inclined to eat it that often. So that's just a few of the rules. There are 64 rules in this book and I just want to share a couple of them. So it's really good, quick read. I definitely recommend it if you're trying to eat better. And like I said, he's not crazy. He's not telling you to do anything crazy. It's just I always compare this healthy eating stuff to getting out of debt. Like The rules of it, they're really simple. Um, but it's just hard to do in today's society, you know? Um, so yeah, if you enjoyed this video or if you are interested in more videos like this, just leave a comment and let me know or thumbs up. Uh, the, I finished that book like a week ago and so the one I'm reading now is The Omnivore's Dilemma, which is also by Ma Michael Pollan. 
but I mean that's just for now that's just the little phase I'm in is these uh, healthy eating books so let me know if you like this and if you want to see more or hear more about other good books that I read or not good books and if you have any other good recommendations for books let me know and Jared reads a lot also so I asked him if he'd be interested in doing this and he said yeah maybe he reads all kinds of other books he doesn't read this stuff I'll show you some of what he's reading right now and thank you for watching this is one that uh, Jared just read and I really want to read it because it's about it's basically for people like me who are always saying I'm too busy and I don't have enough time and so he read he's read a lot of things to me out of it that are really would be really helpful for me. See, he's really good at taking notes <laughs> and he finished that and now he's reading start of course today Ramsey recommended book and he's been wanting to read it for a while and I just wanted to show what I was saying somebody is obsessed with the sunflower seeds were you just begging for them? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Are they yummy? Uh -huh. <laughs> she loves them. <laughs>